Hey, 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 this is Chris. Hey, this is Costello. Oh, we got we got, we got the bloody video still. Oh, I love this video. I know you don't. You don't get to look at it. But but wait a minute now. You see, he only did the BBC for a second. Very beautiful, Miguel. But you are your favorite today, so it's okay. You know. Oh, all right, okay. you look good anyway. I will say this: clean shaving does make you look, uh, you know, about three months younger. Three months, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, three months is just gonna make all the difference in the world. That's for sure. And you know what? Three months ago. Well, three months ago. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better than I was three months ago. I feel like such a gift you because that I, I find our our listeners that do it for that. Great visual effect in half a room. Hit the setting, man. Costello sitting there with his little earphones on. And you pick him up, the back is off his bed, and he has some laundry on there. He has socks sticking up. The earphones hey, hanging off the left the ear there. He's behind. You lie. It wasn't a sock, it was on the way. Either way, it reminded the movie something about Mary, and he had to, to throw the clipping off his ear, and you get to get the clipping off your headphones on this one. <laughs> That's it. Wonderful. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, what is that? It says way Oh, that's all it is? No. What, that's all that one not to get excited about. I had a friend. I, I had a friend many years ago back in Oklahoma. You had a friend? I, Holy yes, shit. I, and it was back in Oklahoma. I, <laughs> I don't have many of those. Well, no wonder. There's lonely, pretty limb lonely back there. Yeah. This, this was, yeah, no kidding. Uh, this was so so long ago. I was working in Arby's, right? So he thought it'd be hilarious to come in there. And how he got a, a pair of my underwear, I don't know. Actually, I do. And I remember who did that. But anyway, he, he came in <laughs> into a crowded Arby's. I'm serving up there. And he picks up the underwear and goes, are these yours? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of like that guy already. I did. <laughs> yeah, you would. Ken was a laugh. Yeah, he was a laugh. <laughs> Dreadful things. Uh, dreadful before things. you go, we need to have a. I guess they have a moment of silence here. Okay, we've lost another one. You know, all these people are getting older, so they're they're all going bye bye. So we've okay. lost another person today, we and do. I okay. yes, and and the death of this person is going to affect your dick. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> Doctor Ruth. Uh, Doctor Ruth died today. Oh my God! How old was she? Ninety six. Oh, I thought she'd be older than that. Well, she always looked older because she's only like she was only like four foot ten. She was a very small woman, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to begin with. And and so I guess as she got older, she probably turned out about four foot one. I guess I don't know, but she's been she always looked old. I mean, but she, I mean, ninety six is just a good long time, and that's not a bad she, run, not bad. Yeah, she quit dispensing sex advice a long, long time ago. I guess because you know what? That's right. Yes, they you don't take sex they advice. Are, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're on sale with Dr. Ruth. Why is your penis not working? That's right. I don't know, doctor. Are you going to find out for well, me? Because you're not using it. Then. Oh, thank you, doctor. That's very you know what? That's true. You don't use it, you lose it. So I'm told. As I should go, uh, I think we need a partner. Oh, hello. I mean, yeah, okay. That's, that's not well, on the weekdays, this is my partner. And on the weekends, this is my partner. <laughs> And on the wrong right weekends, to left. <laughs> right to left, <laughs> yeah, right really, hand, left hand. That's that's what the Trump dance is all about. And if you're really flexible, like Costello, you you use one of your foot, your feet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. Now I think we should mention that you are listening to the originally canceled radio guys, not originally original canceled radio guys. Because I realize we start this thing, and it's like, well, who the hell are you? Uh, I'm Costello. That's Chris. Yep. And uh, uh, we need to just let you know that the reason it's called the original cancelled radio guys is because we do things that you couldn't do on radio before and we get in trouble. We've already did, 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 did that. Did uh, that? We said and we're uh, still doing it again. We we are as we like to call ourselves, and this is on our this is on our our, our merchandise T-shirts. We are equal opportunity <laughs> offenders. Offenders, yes. No one is safe, and that that's no. that's just the way it is. So, no. and it's usually us being remarkably stupid. But yeah. we do like to make you laugh, and it does happen. We do also, of course, have uh, Chris and Costello at yahoo.com. You know, yeah. I checked that. Yeah, there's like 700 uh, emails there. 
Not to be confused with Yoohoo, which is, you know, I, I kind of like it. You don't drink you? You never drink Yoohoo? Oh, that was that chocolatey stuff. No, no. It's a, it's a chocolate milk. This is fantastic. Yoohoo, man. Well, you know, you're not a son of the South like me, but we grew up in Yoohoo and Moon Pie. I came, from a, I came from a place where we uh, were a little more sophisticated than that. Yeah. Well, you live in the South now. I mean, you should be yeah. going down to the corner market and get you a Yoohoo and a Moon Pie. Sit you know on your front what? porch and, and sit on your front porch and watch the world go by. That's what you do <laughs> with a bottle of you. Yeah, yeah, you're a southerner in the summer. You have not to do anything else. You sit there and get your yoo hoo, have your moon pie, stuff your face, and just and watch your wow, neighbor. Moon, moon pies, I like. I like moon pies. Moon pies. Are cool. Yeah. And then you go, wash, wash it down with your RC cola, right? Yes. And if you have to, you can replace them with uh, with a little Debbie. Okay. <laughs> oh, little Debbie cakes. Yeah. Gosh, all these things are really tasty. They're so bad for you. Or in your case, you would like a, a little Miley, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, oh. I hear, by the way, that... You got the Costello's pervert days. I, I shared a lot of Miley Cyrus when she was in that kind of Montana thing. When she was 12. You know, you know, you know what? We were talking about that song, um, Back in Black, right? Yep. That, um, uh, Amy Winehouse did. I found a copy of... Um, uh, Miley Cyrus doing it, and boy, it's good, man. It's real, and she and she's it's just, not, it's just a good song. So I, oh, I, I yeah. like. Miley. I'm sure with her type of voice, which yeah, is oh, oh, it is. It's say, good. Kind and of close. It's, Amy's it would be really good. And and, and, uh, and, and, and and it's not uh, censored. I noticed that the uh, uh, Winehouse uh, video, the official video, is censored. Something new from Costello today. I have a question for you, sir. Do you like George Clooney? Uh, George Clooney's a fine actor. I know you think mother. so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's also got an yeah. incredible wife. Yeah, she's pretty. I like her. She's smart. Yeah. Uh, do you like him as a human being? Even though we don't really know oh, him. Well, I mean, I, I, I think he's, he appears to be a very pleasant person. Likes to play prank. He's kind of a funny guy, good sense of humor, so... I wonder why he. I was just. I, I was just surprised he threw Biden under the bus. You know, uh, <laughs> I mean, he 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 he's like a major contributor to to, to him and and you know to Democrats in general. Mm -hmm. He even told he even told Obama in advance that he did this. You know, this his his op ed was coming out in the New York Times, and Obama knew about it in advance. He didn't he didn't try to talk him out of it or stop him. He didn't tell Biden it was coming. He just went, hey, I'm, I'm playing back on this one. So it's just really bad because you're trying to, you, you got a, all this group of trying to defeat Trump, okay? Right. And we all, we all don't want to see that prick back in for another four years. I mean, who knows what the hell will happen? He wants to wipe out all kinds of stuff that we've had in this country forever. Um, it's just scary. Mm -hmm. But having all this division is just not good as you go down to home stretch here. I just, you know, I just don't get it, you know? Well, and, uh, Seen a, the media pick so much on an incumbent president before is like, what do you do? You're gonna stay in, you're gonna run. Every time he speaks, you're like waiting for him to screw up, you know. You know, but he's been doing that a lot, hasn't he? Mr. Forget, start putting some video on a Trump again. I mean, good, and he fucks up more than the, the, all the time. God, let it go. Do you, you know? know what? Do you know what Trump's been doing? Where uh, he's, been? he's been in America. What is it now? Yeah. He's been in Mar-a-Lago talking to the, I think, is it the Romanian president for life? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but I mean, it's like he had, he had like, you know, the same kind of little tea party with Putin and Kim Jong-un, uh, 
who else is he doing? Well, there's the Project 2025, which is scary. Oh. Well, he wants to get rid of the Department of Education. I'm going to cut back and uh, cut back Medicaid. I'm going to cut back oh. your Social Security. I'm, gonna, I'm just going, you're going to what? Cut it yeah. back. You're going to cut it off. Yeah, uh, yeah I was going to say, uh, I, read that. I, I read that. I thought, wow, this is one, one hell of a piece of uh, propaganda for the Democrats, but it turns out to be true. We're going, Oh my God! No, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's scary. People got to realize what the hell's going on here, you know. So yeah. to make everybody feel better, okay. So it, I mean, mm-hmm. Biden, as you know, he's putting himself out there. He goes, the more I'm out there, the more people see that I'm okay. Maybe the better people feel, and I'll give me that two or three percentage points ahead of Trump, which is all he needs to win. Uh, that everyone thinks, okay, Biden will probably win the popular vote, but he's going to lose the electoral vote. Hope not. He just got to win a couple of those key states that Trump's counting on, and this, you know. Like he did last time, win Georgia again. He's got to win Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, at least get a couple of them. Knock out the electoral thing so he wins. So he's right. he's out there. He, he was in Michigan yesterday. He's going to all these key battleground states. Just going, look at me. He, at the end, he always tells people, folks, I'm okay. And so since he's doing his big media tour to show you how desperate he is, let you know he's okay, he's coming on this show right now. <laughs> so, right. so if he's coming on here, then, you know, you know, he's pushing big time and putting himself out there. So It took an awful lot to get him here, but... Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, this never happened. This year, no, not a problem. No. You know, no. Public press secretary, can you come on the show one time? You know, right now. <laughs> so, here he is. I don't want to hold him up anymore. He may fall asleep. I'm just kidding. No, let's uh, here, so folks, here he is, uh, our president, Joe Biden. <laughs> Wait, I'm the president. Well, yeah, yeah, you are. You know, look, you're not starting out really good. And, and don't call your vice president Trump either, okay? I thought you said I was the president. Look, you're not helping yourself here. What we want to do, simply, sir, is put everyone at ease and give you a simple cognitive test. Can we do that? Is that okay? I don't know what that means, but let's go. Just but here, here we do. We're just going to say a word, and you spit out the first thing that comes to mind when you give you a word, okay? Oh, this should be good. Go right. Ahead. Yeah, you dribble. Okay, so here's the first one. All right, very simple, sir. Dog. Bite. Old. Me. Cold. Hot. Melania. Correct. Hot. Not Jill. Okay. Oh, that's All right. uh, <laughs> lo- Loser. Hunter. Man. Transgender. What? <laughs> How do you say woman? What is it, transgender? Okay. All right, yeah. next word. Trump. A big, fat, orange blob criminal, lying, golf, cheating bastard with a piece of anic insulation stuck to his head. Well, shit, I think he's perfectly fine. <laughs> Based on that answer, you passed the cognitive test. You're great, Mr. President. You you passed. Congratulations. Do I get a trophy? All right. No, get a freaking trophy. Just, just go out and stump and just win the damn election so we don't have that. We don't have idiot, okay? So, thank you, sir. Take your pills, sir. <laughs> take your nap, take your pills, go do a rally, do something, okay? Thanks for dropping by. The Chris and Scott yeah. show. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Go win this damn thing. all we care welcome, about, right? You're welcome, God, I tell you. Uh, please, go win. I mean, I think he said, hey, based on that last answer, at the beginning, I'm going, get the right answer. You mentioned Trump. Yeah, he came alive. So, yeah, he's he's a. He's, do you know what? What would do this though is is this Article Twenty Five, right? If everybody yeah. if everybody looked at that, now I just found mm-hmm. it by accident. It's like, what is this shit? Now I know what it is. That's scary. I mean, it really. You no know one's going to look at that. You're asking people to read. Holy crap! People don't read, but, but they need to. They they really really should. <laughs> I mean, but of course they should. If they did, they'd start to go. Well, wait a minute, and they go. And of course, he's denying he's a part of that Trump is, but it's not true because. Uh, Most of his former sure. staff members and stuff who created it, he's a, he just he'll distance himself against that, distance himself against anything just to I'll say anything to get myself reelected. So but once he's in there, I mean, just think about it. no matter what happens, whether you, whether you think Biden's too old, you want somebody else, you got to call his party division, whatever. No matter who they throw at Trump, you got to vote for that person because just think about it. Do you want on day one? Do you want the dictator? I want your attention. 
Chris and Costello, the original cancelled radio guys would like it very much if you'd subscribe to the podcast. There will be prizes. Just go to https forward slash forward slash www.chrisandcostello.com and click on the oh so convenient button called subscribe. Only three dollars. Thank you. Triple X. That's the thing. You're going to get a dictator. That's exactly that's where you get, that's where you get, that's where you get, that's where you get the Hitler thing. I was just trying to find find it online here. And on that's okay. You said it later. So, so we got yeah. Hitler going on now. Okay. So everybody, go look it up. You will not believe it. You you'll just like going what? Really? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is you know when you when you, when you when you hear Trump the dictator yelling like that in German, it makes you wonder what he's saying. I mean. <laughs> I mean, does anybody even know what he's what he's ranting about there? Did he did he actually say in front of all those people, "I'm going to be your new date. I'm going to kill millions of people. <laughs> I'm going to take over all Europe." Does he actually say that? Probably not. That's but that's, right. that's, that's what Trump said. Yeah, that's 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 his ideal. I'm going to take over the whole world, kill everybody except for me. Oh. Well, here's the fun oh. thing. I, I hate to keep talking politics, but it's just so it's so top of mind. We can't keep talking about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Who gives a shit? You know. So just <laughs> get together or get divorced. Just get on with it. Okay. So. We don't care. But did you, did you it's, see? It's, it's just scary because they, they everyone's going democracy's online here. That's the Democrats' line. Ooh, and Republicans more. are saying, "Yeah, you're right. Democracy is online. Uh, Joe Biden's running democracy." I'm going, "What?" No, Joe Biden didn't. In what way? Democrats are running democracy. In what way? You know. Listen, I, uh, his, mm. his son uh, took up, stood up, and took a bow the other day, and he's like six seven. He's oh, the, the young son, a Baron. Yeah, he's a tall kid. So, yeah. he's, he's going to be a basketball player. Melania has gone in the background. She she wants to spend all of her time to help raise her son. So hopefully he would be away from all this stuff, not hear all this stuff, mm-hmm. not be a part of all this stuff. Doing the best she can. It's kind of hard to get when that's your freaking dad. You can imagine having that as a dad. Come I mean, well, the, the, not too much. But how many times have you seen father and son together? I think he went to his graduation, and that's about the only yeah. time I've ever seen those that's guys not, together. You know, in, in, I don't know forever. So that's that's true. You don't. I, mean, I was thinking about that the other day. I wonder if he's still alive. Hmm, I wonder if he's I, alive. Yeah, I, I can hear Melanie raising your son. Remember, your father's a piece of shit, and we don't need him in our lives. We're just here for the money, okay? Well, the money. We have gone, a nice place. Well, to live here, <laughs> nice place to live here, Mario Lago. We have our own living quarters. We don't have to see him. No, you don't have to play golf. You know, he's, he's a lo- he's a loser. He sucks. Hopefully, he'll be dead soon. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll take yeah, care really. of each other. Keep feeding them McDonald's. Should do it. Remember, he remember when he had his first his first um, inaugural dinner. Remember that, and it was um, oh, it was McDonald's. It was McDonald's. Yeah, I can't remember who. Yeah. who's the dinner was for a sports team. Uh, it might have been like yeah. Tony or somebody, but. Can you imagine you, 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 you're excited, you worked hard, you achieved something, you get invited to go to the White House for your rec to be recognized, and mm-hmm. and there are the tables a bunch of friggin' Big Macs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, don't get me started. We got we, we to we yeah. change the subject. I can't we, we, really, we really do. This is, of course, the, uh, I can't the, take. <laughs> the original canceled radio guys with Chris and Costello. Yep. That's, so we're not, we're, 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 that's what we mean. Equal opportunity offenders. We're all over Trump. We had fun with Biden earlier today, so it don't matter. We're all good. True. Yeah, yeah. We, we just had to, to round it out. We need to bring up Lizzo. No, let's get that. Oh, God, Lizzo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an update. An update here. An update. I was trying to remember her name last oh, wait week. Wait a minute. I got an update about Lizzo. Here it is. You ready? Right. New, ready. new news on Lizzo. Lizzo. Come on, Lizzo. Give me Lizzo. She's still ready? Here it is. She's still fat. Hey, okay. She hasn't been doing her um, Ozempic. And she's still she's still canceled, I guess, in a way, right? I don't know. She's very canceled. She cancels herself anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Here. I've got I've got one of those uh, e bikes, electric bikes. Yes. I'm here in I'm here in the Rocky Mountains, so you know it's very steep and stuff. You know, so having that power is kind of good. I can go further than neighbor, go up and down these big hills. So I'm I'm going scooting down my e bike earlier this week. All right, mm-hmm. and I'm. Kind of far from the house, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it freaking just dies on me. Okay, and I'm going shit, and it's like it showed the, the thing before that showed full power. Wow. And I'm stuck. I, I'm in a hill like this, and it dies on me. I'm going, 
And without the power, because you can you can pedal along if you want to, mm-hmm. but when the power is totally off and there's no assistance, it, that sucker weighs a ton. It's, it's I got a big one. It's really hard to pedal, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm yeah. screwed, you know. So I think about it, turn it off, give it a second, and it comes back out. Oh, great, it's gonna be okay. Hit the hit the gas, did the thing about five seconds later, I'm going, shit. <laughs> So I had to coast and push and coast and push and climb. It took me about a freaking hour to get home, you know, pushing the <laughs> thing, you know. It's good exercise. Uh, yeah, great exercise. I was in traction. I was in bed for two days, okay? So I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to read here, what I'm trying to troubleshoot what else I write. An email, because I got an email in the back of my manual here. It says, you have physical problems, call this place. So they said, send this, send this, and send this. Send a little video, show your problem. Send the serial number. And an order number from like you know when you bought it, so on and so forth. And so I sent all this stuff in for them that make me work for it, right? And they go, Oh, well, I see you didn't buy the bike from one of our manufacturer stores, you bought it from a sub store. So, and based on the year model of your bike, a bike, two years old, just so you know, uh, you know, we don't have we can't cover parts for it. It's too oh, old. I said, no, too no. old. And you don't carry parts on your on your stuff from two years ago. How do you service anything? You get the big freaking bastard. <laughs> you know, we'll have one of our technical experts uh, get, drop you a note and see if he can help walk you through it, but we can't help you with any parts. So if I got a part problem, then I'm, I'm screwed, you know? So it's it's like a, a Highland. There's so many brands. I don't know. It's a Highland, you know? Highland. Well, like, is, it, is, it, is it just uh, maybe a, a software problem, perhaps? I don't know. So I, I'm going to I'm gonna go, I have to go check all my connections. Check that panel again. I'm afraid to go take a test. Or I'll be stuck down the freaking hill again because well, the only way to get out of here, I got to go down steep hills. And if it dies on me, I might have to be pushing this freaking thing all the way back. <laughs> well, that's, that's where you get your wife to follow you in the car. Well, she did come, but this is so wow. big. It won't, we have, the biggest car we have is a Land Rover, okay? It won't mm-hmm. even fit in the Land Rover in the back. It's just big. It's like a, I sent you a picture. It's like, it's like a Harley. I mean, it's just for an mm-hmm. e bike. Because I'm in there pushing this thing. All these other neighbors are back. Wasn't by him. Just going. Hey, so going you, you prick. You know. I just waving. Hey, neighbor. I'm just going. Fuck you. Thanks for not helping. It's, it's, damn. And it's it's kind of hot here in Denver. Right? It's like a, yesterday was 102. Which Ooh, is, okay. here in high altitude doesn't feel. It's okay. It's dry. You know. I don't care. It doesn't that, go bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a dry heat. They're having a big fit over it. You know, back in Vegas, where I'll be going in a week, because I go half and half. They had 115 degree plus seven days in a row, and it's still going. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. glad I missed that straight. I don't want to be there for that. This is that's well, too well, much. That, maybe you won't be able to make it next week. I mean, you know? it's not, there's no real reason for you to go there. It's a really. Well, I got, I work part time. Okay. Yeah, but you work from home, so you don't have. To. Yeah, but sometimes, sometimes I have to go see people in person. Some people want to be seen in person. Yeah. You know, even though we try to do everything virtual, some people who are, especially the local, because we have people come from all over, from you know different areas and states. So they, of course, obviously they're all virtual, and mm-hmm. sometimes it's boring because they don't get to meet me in person because I don't want to you know, set things up for them. But the local people who live there, they want to come in. You know, they want to see the right person in person. That person would be me. So, yeah. wow. okay. so I have to go at least once every three, four weeks or so. You know, it's okay. So I'm trying to stretch oh, this one out. Just wait for the heat. Wait well, for the heat wave to calm down. I have to go well, back. For, you have to wait till September for that to happen. Oh Maybe. no! I mean, I mean, it's like the 115 every day is a little bit much. It's gonna, it's gonna calm down next week. It's gonna get down about 100, 203. That doesn't bother. Me. But that 115 plus, it just beats you up. They, they oh, yeah. it Last week in Vegas, you know, oh, this week, wow. did 120. 120. God, believe me, I know it. I know it. I mean, I'm, when I worked there, I was a cameraman for um, a lot of the ESPN fights and uh, show, what was it, Showtime, HBO. And we used to do them outside uh, oh, in, at shit. seasons. So you got this nice bowl of heat anyway. Yeah. And and we'd be out there, and there's just tarmac, and oh god, it was miserable. And it would get way past 120 because, and the reason you'd I'd be know out that, there with that, with that video camera stuck to your ear, it'd melt to your ear, kind of like that <laughs> underwear on your your ear today, you know, mm-hmm. thing stuck to your ear, you know. And they were the big ones too, not the little baby ones they have. Oh to hell yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah. I, I can remember. I think uh, I, I told you this story last week where they, if if you look at those big. Big dial thermometers, right? They have a little stick to stop the uh, 
the dial from going further around than 120. Well, most places it never even gets close, but there, of course, it's the dial is, or the little hand is hang, hanging on this little stick thing. So someone said, well, what, what if we took the stick thing off? That's see how hot it is. And it was, yeah, to stop the dial going past 120. Yeah. Okay. And it did. It went up to like 130. Well, I was out there playing golf last year, and I thought, well, you know, it's, it's not like 102 today. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out like two or three in the afternoon when no one's out there, so I get the whole course to myself. There's a reason for that. But you know, some holes are kind of low. They have thermometers out to let you know what's going on, so take care of yourself. So mm-hmm. I'm in one hole. I said, I'm not feeling so good. And I checked the mic. It was 129 degrees, you know, <laughs> in that hole. I said, this explains why I feel like shit, you know. So Exactly. Okay. I finished that hole. Went inside the club bus. They gave, me, I said, they gave me a pitcher of water, a pitcher of iced tea, and I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't. Oh, the heat, the heat. So oh, you're going to speak to you. The sticky south of uh, South Carolina. What's it? What you you got going on today? What's what's it? We we got part of cloudy ninety five. No, well, yeah, but you got okay. humidity like eighty percent plus. You know, the humidity uh, here today, just so you know, is nine percent. Okay, so you're you're it's, sticky dicky. Uh, it's it's at least fifty percent, if not more. I'm uh, expecting uh, some showers later on, which would be nice. It's, well, it's let's, go and, let's go ahead and piss everybody off. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them some news. We're gonna piss everybody off, right? Go on, Cuff. So tell, me, tell them where you're going. Take a little trip. Oh, well, I'm going Everybody, to Everybody, where are you going? Go on, go on, throw it out there. We're going, okay. going, to, going to Hawaii. You suck. No. <laughs> Sorry. My daughter said, and we're having a conversation, and she said, oh, my friend's going to Hawaii. I said, you know, I've never been there. She said, oh, we're going. I go, oh, well, have a nice time. No, she said, you, you and me, we'll go. We'll take Abby, too. I go, okay. Okay. He's, yeah. I go, wow. Shit. Okay. Which means, which means that they're buying you a ticket. She's buying me a ticket. Yeah. And where are you staying? We'll find a hotel, a Motel Six, I suppose. Everybody they put you up. So yeah. You're going to Hawaii. Well, Scotch free. See, see, this this shows that you raise your kids right a certain way that they <laughs> are giving back to dad. They're gonna send you to Hawaii. I, I think I think Allison's idea is that if we go somewhere really nice, all the things that have plagued me recently will all go away. I like that thinking. I think I you think know <laughs> you, when you go when you go there, you you get the ocean breeze and the beauty of the whole place. I may not come back. Any, I can have any stress going on at all. You know. <laughs> I don't it's know. Just, you're gonna we're gonna you're gonna do your part of the show when you're in Hawaii. I want it outside. We want to see what it looks like and stuff. So just plan on that, okay? Okay, it, it is planned. So it, we'll it, be looking at you. We'll be looking at how serene and content you are. While the rest of us back here will be nothing but a wind-up ball of freaking stress, okay? Yeah. <laughs> going with my two daughters. It should be fun because we travel well. Oh, yeah, it should be fun. Of course it'll be fun, you asshole. You're going to Hawaii, okay? Never been. You're going for free, and you go. Oh, it should be fun. You could go to Hawaii with some horrible people, and that would ruin the whole thing, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? What? Imagine if you went with your in-laws, well, I don't know what your in-laws are like, but I remember mine were like. Uh, they're dead, so yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, like we can take the urn. We'll <laughs> oh, take. Okay. We'll take. <laughs> we'll take the urn with us. Okay, we'll take. Let's oh, take there there you there you go. Put put them in one of the volcanoes so they can get an idea. Of it. So, so when are you when are you when are you taking this trip? When are you going to Hawaii? When? I don't have the actual. Uh, it's between. Uh, October and February, she said. Oh, so, you're going later. I thought you're going sooner. Later this year. Then. Okay. No, no, later on. Later on. No. Oh, well, there's a possibility you could be doing Christmas in Hawaii. There is a possibility. Unlikely one. It is that many. <laughs> <laughs> well, these things never happen to me. So I'm truly grateful to my daughter. My well, daughter you, because, this is what this is. This is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. You know, well, you, you sacrificed a lot. Time, money, whatever, because you want to raise kids, and of course it's your choice to have kids. So you, you of course, you do that. You, you can be a shitty parent. So by being a good parent, they went through a lot, uh, divorced, their mother's gone, you know, all those things. And here you are, you've been the been the rock you've been. So now it's like <laughs> you get back to the parents, you know, in yeah. every way you yeah. can. Yeah, I did. I did with the best of mine, you know. So yeah. I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't even know why. I mean, crap, you know. But I tried to do everything I could, best I could. Yeah, she Pretty gave you that bike. She gave you that bike, didn't she? My daughter. Yes, she did. Yeah. 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 See, she, she gave me that. Give, give me that piece of shit bike. And stranded me down the hill. 
<laughs> you ungrateful kid. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you. No, it's not her fault. You know, I, I let them know what was going on with it. And that's because they had to send me the order number and stuff. So I got to send it to them so yeah. they could trace it back and see what they could do. You know, they're, they're not happy about it either. So, and yeah, that's, well, it's not your are, fault. I said, you know, it's just one of those things that we'll get it fixed one way or the other. So not to yeah. worry about it. Yeah, but I'm yeah. still I'm still waiting for my vacuum cleaner to turn up. My, my vacuum floor, cleaner. I, I bought a Hoover, a Hoover um, a floor cleaner slash vacuum cleaner. But who cares? You bought that. I mean, you you only I, care. You tell your kids to buy it for you. What the hell are you buying no, it for? No, I bought it and it's never turned up. And I'm still waiting for it to turn up. And it came from, is that an Amazon thing? Yeah, it's an, yeah from Amazon. And it, yeah, my and wife it, just bought some uh, birthday stuff for one of her grandkids through Amazon, and it showed it was delivered, but they never got it. So exactly, same thing. Same thing. It happens. I mean, it, 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 they do eighty gazillion deliveries a day. I mean, it, not everyone's going to be perfect. So, I think they're really good about making them in, so so you'll be fine. Well, well so I hope so because uh, I'm almost up to my chin with dog hair. <laughs> you got to. Oh. Well, you got to vacuum. I can't vacuum. Yeah, we did. We, got, we had to vacuum. I had to pull the dog hair out of the bottom of the vacuum. It's just we had to do that this week too. Fun stuff. Yeah. yeah fun stuff. When I heard about your trip, though, the first thing I did, I emailed my daughter. I went. Uh, I was at Costello's. You know, kids are taking him to Hawaii. I said, so when, when are we going? <laughs> and I got back, uh, we're not. <laughs> not going, Dad. Sorry. I Next said, how about uh, 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 Florida? She goes, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Downtown Denver? Well, well, take us. About the, about the creek in your backyard. I mean, they may, they, we could do that possibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Well, you've been to all the nice places anyway. I have, I have not. Well, I have not been to Hawaii. I've been, I've yeah. been to probably every place in the Caribbean, you know. Well, you've been to Jamaica. Puerto Rico, Dominican, Jamaica, Caymans, mm -hmm. you know, St. Bart's, Costa Rica, all that stuff. So that's all great. So I've been yeah. to Europe. I've been to your home. I've been to London a couple mm -hmm. of times. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. But that's one place I haven't been. It's just somebody, people, people tell me half an hour. Either people love Hawaii or some people just go, what, what's the big deal? I'm just going, I can't say anybody would think it's not a big deal. I know it's expensive, you know. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's, it's well, got to be beautiful, right? I mean, come on. Well, let's hope so. I mean, if it hasn't burnt. <laughs> it was on fire this last week, I think. That's Maui. It was it burning was again? Again. Oh, great. Yeah, and I think that's where we're planning to go, to. Just by the way. Maui? Well, there's, yeah. there's the burnt part. And there's yeah. the part that wasn't touched. It's, it's still pristine. looks great. Yeah. The best place yeah. to go is Maui or Waikiki. If you're going to one of those, so I hear you're going to be in great shape. We have a lot okay. of people in Vegas who I work with and have met who are Hawaiians, and they tell yeah. me that's the place to go. They have family back there. The only reason they left and came to Nevada is because they didn't want to. It's just so expensive to live there they, based on what they do for a living and stuff. Even though the money's okay, it's just not enough to have a good life in Hawaii, so they want to have they want to have a better life. So so they, they have a nicer house, a better life, no money mm -hmm. worries about living in Nevada, but man, they sure miss Hawaii though. Oh yeah. They call it the, the what the fifth island or something? They do, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what they call it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And uh and uh, you you prick, you're going for free, so that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I mean it hasn't happened. No, yet. you're not sorry. Yeah, you're not sorry at all. <laughs> It hasn't happened yet, so I mean, you know. Well, court just did. They wouldn't bring it up. Not going. Everything they bring up, they do. Your kids are great. You think everything? Yeah. Everything they say they're going to do, they do. You know. Uh yeah. That's well. Again, we'll have to see. I think. I think priority on my end is to uh, uh, not be a certain bore, or at least not here anyway. I think I need to. Uh, we need to move from uh, Columbia. Yeah, no shit. We tried to have to move there to begin with, so I don't know what it's you're doing. Get the hell out of there, see? Yeah, I, I, I said, like I said, I, I must definitely be listening. But <laughs> well, actually, she's going to Spain before that. Oh, shit. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Stop it. Good God. Man. Well, I mean, she's she works very hard. I mean, you know, she does lots of overtime. She has a reason to do overtime now. Um and she's a 911 operator, so it's a pretty high stress job. And that's, that's another place I want to go. Spain is just is like high on the list. It's got everyone who's, who's ever been just said you, that's one place we have to go. Have oh, you yeah. been? Have yes. you been? Yes, I have. As good as they say it is. It was a long time ago. I was a kid, but uh, I do remember vague bits. I've seen I've seen it on TV. 
I told him he'd been there. Go go check out the architecture. That's what I would do. I just uh, I'm just uh, I, I'm due for a vacation. I, I, usually I go at least someplace yes. once a year, twice a year. I like to travel. It's been like two years. It's, it's a big stretch for me. So I'm. I'm Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Uh, you, you, you had a vacation when you went to the uh, convention last year. I it was just down the road from your house, but. <laughs> but, but, but that, that's, that's here in Denver. You know, also, there's I know, another. I know. Cuba. There's another big convention related to what I used to do and own, and it's this year, and it's also here in Denver. <laughs> so I'm going, okay. I'll go that just check it out for a day, see some people and say hi, and just that'll be that. Yeah, but I, I need to do, I need a road trip really bad. So yeah, yeah. we're thinking of two things here. It's like this is what we're considering. It's like one is going to uh Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Uh, Where is we it? have uh, the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. Oh, it's, a beach, oh, oh. it's a beach town there in, in the Dominican Republic. It's really nice. A lot of people recommend okay. it. Yeah. And plus the fact we have a friend who owns two condos there and he goes, if you go, you can stay there for free. So that's the big allure there, okay? It's kind of like right. you. You freeload to Hawaii, I'm going to freeload the Dominican Republic. Or we're considering possibly going back to uh, Sarasota, Florida to go check it out again. So we have an interest possibly, possibly of moving there. So so I said, I, said, I told my wife, I said, we're going to go there while it's still kind of hot so you can see what summer feels like. So you need to see if you can deal with that. You can have you know, it, yeah. Yeah, deal with it because you're, you're born and raised in Colorado, so you don't know what the Humidity is like in summer down in Florida, so you got to go down there for a few days and just experience that. See if you think you can deal with that. So, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you've got yeah. you know, you've got the coastal breezes and things. It looks like a really nice place. I checked. It's it out. a really, really, she really likes it. No, we have no issue with with the places for a place to live. It's really pretty. But you know, it's kind of tough. Like here, we live in the mountains. We love the mountains. When you're when you're away from the beach for long enough, you you want to go to the beach. When you're at the yeah. beach, you miss the mountains. People live at the beach, vacation in the mountain. People live in the mountain, vacation in the beach. As long as you can have access and go back and forth to both, what's the problem? I mean, that's you know, it's all good. Yeah, this this is true. This is the true. difference is like if we were to live there, is like we would be bypassing all the snow. I don't mind the snow. I actually like the snow. You know, so eh, the snow and everything it has its place. I mean, you know, it's um... out of my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn turn your driveway heater on. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I was talking to one of the people I work with, and she's from Hawaii. And I just go, okay. So she goes, she goes every day. I mean, the part you're going to, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every day. And the, never changes. Every day, the highs between 78 to 82 every freaking day. Okay. I suppose it could, that could get a little, uh, little old, you know? Well, no, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. I mean, that, that's, that's really a great temperature to be at. Every yes, it day. is perfect. You know, perfect. You're going out there, you're not covered, you're not sweating today. It's 78 to 82 every day. Think, imagine living like that, right? I'm packing my bags. Well, you are because you're going, you yes, also. Well, I'm only going there, I'm not going to live there. You may not, you, you may go, you may go. I'm leaving Columbia Bingo, somewhere and go. Somehow, I, somehow, that's where you can go. Yep, when I'm ready to roll. There's a guy who's a who's a uh, become a friend of mine, and he, he's like, uh, he's not from Hawaii, but he lived there before. He wants to go back, but he's on. Uh, oh, the eldest guy? No, someone else. He, oh. he, he, uh, he only has so much, it's not like fixed income. He gets like disability, gets this, and this, but he added it all up. But he found a place to live there, and it's like 600 square feet, you know. So, but he gets at least to go back there and live, and, and it's like. Nine hundred dollars a month in Hawaii. I'm just going. Are you kidding me? That's you know, not, so wow. So he's moving there, and that's he's going to live like that. He's going to down, say, selling a lot of his stuff. But obviously, he's no storage or whatever. But he goes, who cares? I'm there. I get to go out and be outside, and be on the beach every day, seventy to eighty two degrees every day. So damn, giving up all everything else is important just to live that lifestyle. So you could do that in Cozumel too. Like, perhaps not Mexico. Yeah, why not Mexico? Why not? You know, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know people. That's affordable. Are, very affordable. If, yeah. If, if going back to politics, if Trump wins, you have to look, look at these other options. You know, <laughs> you go move somewhere, you know, for four years and then come back. If there's anything left. If 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 that if that happens, we'll see. We'll see. 
It'll be it can't crazy. happen. Don't let that people, <laughs> America. We're talking to America. Don't let that happen. You don't like Biden? Understand. Think he's too old? Understand. But look at the alternative. That's just all there is you have to look at. Look at the mm-hmm. alternative. Biden can't make it. You got President Kamala Harris. It, what's what's yeah, so wrong? Right. You have a problem with her? You know, she's fine. She's smart. She was a freaking prosecutor. I mean, she's a lawyer. She's she's educated. She's schooled. She's pleasant. She's nice. She's, she's not smart. 95. Yeah. She's, yeah. Work. <laughs> she's less than 100 years old. Bingo. <laughs> Hey, just just to make you feel good, today I'm doing I'm doing I'm uh, doing slow cooking uh, a pork roast. I'm doing pulled pork barbecue today. Ooh. Just say, yeah, I'll, I'll be right around, man. You should come by. Last night I cooked a whole red snap. I like to cook, you know. That's, I, yeah, I got the yeah. whole snap. I love cooking the whole fish, so it's, it's great. A whole red snapper. And you cut into it. He's like, look at this. <laughs> you did the whole fish. Head, tail, everything. It's really good. Yeah, that way. yeah. Now, it's, it's good. supposed to boil the head. It's supposed to be very good. Headfish. Oh, boil the head. I just like, I grill yeah. them. I mean, I could. No, no. I, I mean, boil, boil, it for, boil it later for soup. Well, it's a good stock. Yeah, fish yeah, stock. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, so but you know, like get a whole fish like to fry it. I'm just going. Oh, I don't like fried foods. I just I really coat it well. Made it really citrusy with a lot of lime juice and Ooh. some seasoning. Put them on the grill. Man, he was good. Ah, so really flaky good. and moist. Yeah, I'm getting hungry, and today, today we're doing barbecue. Yeah, oh, damn, you're making you're making me damn hungry now. I'm making my uh, homemade coleslaw, my homemade coleslaw, okay. And, and I already made this. I made well, this. I, I, you made you made that when we um when uh, when we were down in Florida. I remember that. Yep. It's very made, nice. uh, we made the crawfish then, man. We that maybe that crawfish boil outside. How good was that? Huh? 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 This I made that. Year. I made a crawfish boil. And you guys never had it before, and there was nothing left. Yeah, you guys that was great. the whole damn thing. You ate all the sauces, the shrimp, the crawfish, the corn, the onions. You ate everything. Yeah, that was us fighting over the last one. Yeah. <laughs> so I got I got homemade coleslaw barbecue, and also I made my salad, my strawberry red onion radish, mm-hmm. and my vinegar great. dressing salad. It was great. I remember you went all that trouble, and somebody said, "I don't like this." Was it dope? Perhaps I don't remember. Somebody's, well, that's, somebody's that's, why that's why we don't speak to the prick anymore, okay? <laughs> he, yeah, he sent me something that was really rude months and months oh. ago. Like, he was really drunk. It was very obvious. And then like uh, a week or two ago. Joke, wait a minute, joke, Mr. Religion, Mr. Mr. Baptist, Southern Baptist, Billy Graham Jr. was yeah, drunk. Yeah, exactly. And, and then he and then he sends me, uh, and then, hey, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, da, 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 da. It's like, you don't remember the last thing you sent me, so I just sent that back to him. <laughs> what was the last thing that he said? Here's why I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> oh, because he thought we were rude and we're ugly and we're nasty and we're just yeah, yeah. dumb people. And, and I think he just didn't like the fact that we make fun of because we give out the Doke Awards. And you know. I well, you know, I mean, you know, we don't do things like that anymore. We should do some more stuff like that. That's what's well, the Doke. If we could, we could make a, like a symbol of a Doke Award. We'd make uh, we just something of this. We'd make something of a, a platelet of his teeth, okay, and just give that out. To- <laughs> you know how to hit a man where it hurts. Well, look at this one. We first met and worked with him some thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. He, he was a young guy in his, in his like lower twenties. We thought, well, he'll, he'll take care of that. So he reaches out like thirty years later. We're going. We think he'd be different, right? Well, that looks like he's giving birth in his third trimester. And his teeth are the same as awful as always. And 30 years of that built up, obviously you got gum disease and the breath could just like melt this whole microphone. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's all true too. Yeah. We were just being honest. We could go, go to the freaking dentist, okay? I mean, has he ever been in his life? In West yeah, Virginia, probably, you know? probably not. Probably not. There's probably it's only weird. one dentist in West Virginia, and he's probably not that busy because he's going, no one wants to come. Yeah. <laughs> we, have a, we, have a, we have the word of the day for Doke, and he's never done this, is floss. Okay. <laughs> and brush. Yes. And, and swill. And and everything. Everything. Yeah. Anything, well, anything world, wash. just do Mouth it. Mouthwash. You know? Mouthwash. Uh, <laughs> you know, well, we, can't all, we, can't, we can't all be perfect, but there you go. <laughs> he, so, he likes he likes to write songs that no one records or thinks are any good or gives a shit about. But he she should write a song about about his about his teeth. That'd be great. 
Yep. I woke up one morning to find my baby gone. I breathed in her. We called, uh, we called Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky. Yeah. I found my baby gone. I turned around and breathed on her. And did you ever hear, did you ever hear a song that uh, the dope wrote? Did they ever no. give you, show you some lyrics or maybe try to sing you one or? You ever heard anything that he wrote? Never did. Never did. Does he write Christian music? Is that what he writes? He writes Christian music, does he? Christian country? Well, country is Christian music. Christian yeah. country, right? Yeah. Not that my dog died. I'm drunk. I lost my truck. I screwed my neighbor's wife. <laughs> he probably that. did that and I broke a tooth. Yeah, that would be him. He wouldn't write that. He's he's Mr. Goody Goody. He's Mr. Southern Baptist Christian boy. Yeah, he is. I'm dope from West by God, Virginia. I'm a God-fearing hillbilly boy. I'm also a trumpet. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot he is, isn't he? Oh, big time, big time. That's uh, why we got into a fight. And that was, oh. that was years before we really realized what we had on our hands. When I'm Holy going, shit. The, what he got really angry about was I put on Facebook or something. I said, uh, oh, you know, hey, man, the emperor has no clothes. Remember that? Yeah. Remember, the emperor has no clothes. And he, he didn't like that. He didn't get it either. He didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? He don't have no clothes. He's probably the more clothes than you ever had. And probably the best clothes because he only has the best clothes. And they probably tell you that he has the best clothes, you know. He's got clothes. Oh. He's got he's got wardrobes full of clothes. Another, another freaking guy, you're, you're missing the point. Well you're, <laughs> well, you're talking to an uneducated West Virginia country boy. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? Well, I would have thought that's the sort of thing you've got. Uh, you know, children. You know, Doke is a third grade graduate. <laughs> Gonna go for a dip in the cement pond. He went to he'd be first. He went to Jethro Elementary in West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, but one of those guys from there, Epson, buddy Epson, I think. He was from West by Gold. Yeah. The Clampett anyway, Jake the Clampett well, family. Yep. This is taking a, a really interesting uh, uh, turn. Down no, that's, that's, that's great. I love picking on. I love picking on the. the, the well, I mean, we, we can pick on Doke. No, it's just we we should you know. Um, I'm just there. Just hasn't been anybody other than than Biden to pick on right now. And uh, well, I think that's why the media so much over because they're they're, they're, they're sick of being playing Trump speeches where he spews out stupid shit every day. So it's like oh, and they're going, this is getting kind of old. So I got something new to go on now. So like I said. You can't. There's the Clooney thing that that kind of made some people kind of were surprised by it. Alec Baldwin, his case was dropped yesterday. Yeah, that was brilliant. Listen, so we can't follow the trial anymore. I'm happy for him because it was like a trumped up stupid shit anyway. So yeah. it's really sad the woman died, but I don't think it was any intent on his part. Oh, you know, none. None. That's, in that's fact, his job to make sure there's the real bullets in the gun or not. He's the actor. Okay, so I don't know. I, I thought, you know, when when his defense was making that first first speech, the younger guy of the two, he was brilliant. I'm going, you know, after that, how are you even going to continue with this? You know, if I was a judge, I'd just go, that's it, throw the case out. See, see, see what money and good, and good lawyers can do for you. You know, I guess. Like when I have my lawyer, they're going to score a plea. I'm just going, well, wait a minute, this is fight. Now just take a fucking plea. Yeah, we don't want to go. Yeah. No, we, we, we don't. We don't. We don't. Do. <laughs> oh, he suck. I, I had oh. an, I had an, I had an attorney who I had this case if you remember with the um, heating system here that nearly killed me, um, with the uh, gas thing and everything. You're sucking in poisonous fumes at night when you're sleeping. Yeah. And and he um, and he dropped the case. He said, "Well, I, I just I just don't think I'm up to this." I go, "What? I could do this. I could I could I could do this in court." They're not paying him enough. They, they, they're looking at it. He's, going, he's only paying me so much. It ain't enough for me to do this. You know, okay. so I asked my guy once. I go, we need to do it. He goes, you know, it's going to cost you this, this, and this if we go do that. And there's the risk that this, this, and this could happen. So what do you want to do? It's just like he, everything he laid out was like, don't freaking do it. You know, so same, same, same shit you went through. Same thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, for look at, you look at stuff and say, you, we, after this week, they'll be sick of you. Oh, know, you know, you know what? Uh, You're breaking up there for some reason. Uh, Alec Baldwin's a free guy. Dr. Ruth is dead. I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> Why? What's the point in continuing, man? Ellen DeGeneres is trying to do her final stand-up tour. She's going. She she goes. She canceled a lot of dates. She got a few more left. She goes. When I'm done, I got. I'm recording a Netflix special. 
When that comes out, I'm done with show business forever. You'll never see me again. Really? I'm good wow. with that. I'm okay. That's going okay. I'm good. Yeah, she was. I mean, for a while there, her show was the shit. When it came to daytime, it was the Ellen show was big shit. Remember when she was uh, before she came out? Everyone's going, oh, come on, she's gay. Then, oh, yeah. And then when she came out, that was a big deal on the show. Yeah. And that was good. That was good. I give her credit for that. Her yeah. show was the, was the shit for a while, but you could tell the last few years of the show, she was mailing it in. Her pranks got a little bit nasty, a little vindictive, you know, and, and uh, you know, I don't know. So it's just, and I guess she had that toxic atmosphere at work, so I just let her go. If she wants yeah. to go, like she goes, I've been canceled twice. Well, you know, uh, one thing you canceled because you came out, that wasn't your fault, but you came back strong. You get your daytime show is great. This time you're canceled because it was your fault. You did you did do something wrong. So yeah, yeah. That, that I was thinking of the, the sitcom show she was doing originally. Well, that's when she said she was canceled the first time because she came out yeah. as gay. Yeah, and then so the show was canceled like a year later, and she says because of it, I don't know. Uh, it's just it just ran its course, but she came back with the daytime show. Good for you. You, you yeah. had a great run, 19 years. But you you you're canceled on that one it's because of you. Now she's it's doing this Netflix special where they're paying her millions. And she goes, "That this I'm done." I guess so. You can you get so much freaking money in the bank, you go. You know? Yeah, you don't. Talking of that, talking of so much money, uh, when, well, when you got money, car, I, I got. I found out I have. Um, I looked at my account that I used to have uh, to pay my car off. Right. Yep. And I'm looking at this. It's like plus five hundred bucks. I got five hundred bucks. Out of the deal. Did, did Ellen send that to you? I guess they'll send it to me, but it's like I'm in the statement going, 500 do I owe them? No. Isn't that nice? 500 bucks out of nowhere. They, they gave you 500 bucks for whatever. You overpaid? Well, uh, yes, I guess I'd overpaid at some point. And so, no, okay. So, did yeah. Doke send it to you? Did Doke send you some money for his apology? <laughs> Doke send me anything. You know, I think maybe I will move to uh, Myrtle Beach after all. You know, Doug, you know, Doug sent you. He sent you an autographed copy of his book. He did. <laughs> <laughs> and one of one of tens, not thousands, and, but tens. And of course, you you opened it right and started reading it right away, right? You know, I did. In fact, uh, I read. You it did. I, I I think I still have it here somewhere. You went to the chapter about radio to see if you were in it. Mm-hmm. I never did. Do you remember what chapter that was? I, I never seen the damn book. I don't know. You sent it to me. Guy hates my gut. Oh, I was, was going to send it to you. Yeah, hang on. I make. Yeah. I talk about his dental hygiene and him being a stupid redneck hillbilly. So he didn't think too I much of me. No. <laughs> oh, he does too. I imagine that. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, hopefully, everybody can look at the professional backdrop of Costello's house. The gray sheet hanging up behind him. Okay. That is. That Which is covering up his unmade bed. Isn't it? Shit. <laughs> Is that, that that is that is hey, that is actual photograph? Is that a yellow? Is that a yellow stain on that sheet? Oh, stop! There it is. <laughs> a crazy oh, journey. A crazy by, journey. By Mr. You got a picture back? You see the picture? Is he smiling? I see them teepas. You might I can get, see if I can do it. There, 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 there he is. Oh, there he is. Look at his snaggle toothies. Uppers and lowers are all fucked up. Now the thing of it is, though, um, everything. Who got his head? Is he? I was thinking of the Opie barber. Who got his hair like that? Jesus. He hadn't, honestly hasn't changed in thirty-five years. No, not a bit. No. It's um, the the thing about this is this lovely book that he wrote. He was a salesman at uh, Super One Hundred Two WBSR in Charleston, and um, so and of course he, he, being a salesman, he he wrote uh, this book about all the some of the things that that had happened. Right, and we're in. Chris and I are in here. We've never actually found it yet. Uh, I, I don't have the book to even look at. It. So if you find it, you have to tell me what it, what it is. I'll I'll have to obviously now. It's not the time to do. This. I wrote something. I work with these two assholes who are on air personalities there, and they're going to hell because of the way they're. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. But the funny thing is, is Joe Walsh, E Z E N N W A, Keith Sweet, and Billy Ocean. Ready for it, the where's the chapter that he wrote about that he's never been with a woman? <laughs> I don't know. What do you call that blow up of a girlfriend of his? Huh? Is What's he still, is that the, is, he he girlfriend? Him. Yeah, he did. He was, was he paying her or something? He was paying her. Oh, we always paying her. <laughs> something. Man. Oh, here we go. Thanks to my, my thanks to my lifetime of friends growing up from St. Albans. 
No, we're not, we're not mentioned exactly. It's exciting, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> On that note, we're going to end today's show. And, and it, this the, squeal, the squealer once again goes back to dope. Okay. Indeed. Here we go. It's just this is. Uh, it's just it. it it'll, the, and you hear, it just sounds like a family reunion when you play the squeal. The dope. <laughs> <family>. <laughs> it's like, haven't seen yeah. each other. Been over. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, there's the dope family reunion. Take it up for Gilly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the, 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 yep, the, the dope family reunion. Exactly, exactly what that was. How did you guess? You get today's grand prize. Whatever that may be. Uh, well, the only thing I've got here is a, a bit of honey. So maybe you can have this is your prize. Empty wrapper. Empty there sweet. you go. That's the nice cancellation prize. Thanks, guys. The, we'll the, talk the, to you next week. Squeal, squeal. The empty sweet wrapper of life. Okay, mate. Goodbye. Hey, 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 hey,